So today, it's gonna be all about the Ghoulie Camel. We have an instant unlock for the Ghoulie Camel. We have a glitch to totally glitch out the camel of the Ghoulie Camel and make it so you guys can get a full on red camel, all that cool stuff. We have glitches slash methods so you guys can get more souls in a quicker amount of time. And if you play DMZ, I have a DMZ way that you, you know, it's just great. Jam packed video of Ghoulie Camel stuff. Let's get right into it. the first glitch, which is the instant unlock glitch for the Ghoulie Camel. Now, this one is a bit tricky, but it does still work. Just keep trying. I couldn't personally hit it myself, but Bubs did say that it does still work. And thank you to Bubs because he's letting me use his footage. So everybody go right ahead and make sure you guys check him out down below in the description. Now with this instant camo unlock, you're going to need three accounts. You want one dummy account, then one that has the camo, and one that you want to transfer the camo to. If you guys don't have any of these things, stay tuned because after this, I am going to be showing you guys some OP glitches that you guys can take advantage of if you guys don't have these requirements so anyways once you guys get all of those things you need to have the dummy account logged in and the account with the ghoulie camo you then want to go into the game with the account that has the ghoulie camo and simply just save it as a custom mod on that account now what's great is this doesn't only work with camos this works with anything you can literally duplicate any weapon any blueprint even store-bought blueprints but in this video we're doing the ghoulie camo now once you save the custom mod you then want to close the application and then go into the game with the account that is the dummy account keep in mind that this only works on playstation that's it and once you're in the game with the dummy account you then want to press x on this screen then back out and go offline you then want to select local multiplayer with your dummy account you want to take the account that has the camo and simply log him in as well now you should be split screen now take the controller that is with the dummy account and press triangle then select team deathmatch and go into your weapons now take the controller that has the camo and select the weapons you want to find that weapon that has that blueprint with the camo that you saved so for the ghoulie camo you would find the ghoulie camo blueprint which this gun right here has the ghoulie camo you want to select the gun then go into the gun and then press options on the blueprint now you want to select rename you should have this menu pop up and you want to take the controller that is with the account that has the camo and simply log out of that account that has the camo with that controller then with that same controller log into the account that you want to transfer the camo to then you want to rename the blueprint at this point you will see that it is going to rename the blueprint but you will still be stuck on the screen now you want to close your application like you see me now when you go back into the game if we have done everything right you will see that the account that is not supposed to have the ghoulie camo now has the blueprint saved in his blueprint for the ghoulie camo so if you have a buddy with the ghoulie camo do this glitch transfer it onto your account with a few of the meta weapons and then you guys will be chilling and you'll have the camo this right here is such an op glitch and like i said it doesn't just work with the camo you can make a blueprint of anything of a store bought blueprint you can make a blueprint of any other camo whatever you can transfer literally anything onto this other account so definitely great if you have a buddy with this skin already now let's say you don't have any friends and you can't really find somebody that has the camel well this is what you guys want to do you guys want to do these few methods but before we get into that i do want to definitely say if you do have the camel unlocked you guys can do these insane like i think these are glitches because it changes the look of the camel but you guys can do this to to change the look of the camo to make it look really really cool and even better so this is for the people that already have a camo now you want to use these two blueprints then you want to put the ghoulie camo onto these two blueprints this one right here will give you a red camo it's not going to be the multi color one this is how it normally looks but with these blueprints this is how it will look it's going to look red now if you guys want to change it into just a purple color put on these blueprints with the camo and it will change change it to a purple color so there's that cool way that you guys can change the camo and make it look even cooler and all that stuff like that now let's move into the methods i consider these glitches to be honest just because you're supposed to finish the match and we're not going to be doing this with these methods so yeah anyways what you guys want to do to get the camo the fastest if you guys don't want to do the instant lock glitch head into lockdown and now don't worry we have newer methods where you don't need lockdown but this one is just one of the 
the best. It's not the best in my opinion, but it's one of the best. Once you're in lockdown, you simply want to get as many kills as possible. They're going to drop three souls and you can get up to 25 souls. You also want to look around for ghosts and you guys can shoot ghosts and look around for regular chests and legendary chests. Do not loot any blue chest or any loadout chest because those won't give you souls. After you guys get your 25 souls, it will, you know, say, hey, you have to complete the game to collect them, but you don't. All you want to do is simply leave the game and you will have the souls even though you didn't finish the game. And I consider that a little exploit, the leaving part of this glitch. Now let's say you guys want to even speed this up faster. What you can do is get down, then select play again after you hit start. That's going to put you right into another match and it will keep the souls that you guys collected. Now let's move on to the DMZ way. Since DMZ, only way I recommend you guys to, to do this in DMZ is by getting the soul catcher. I forgot the blueprint name. I don't have it in front of me. I record these audio separate from the video, but here's a picture of the blueprint that you guys want. You get this from pre-ordering the $100 part of the game. What you want to do with it is go into the game, kill as many bots as possible, and you're going to get two souls for them very, very frequently, and then simply pick up the souls. Also, take out ghosts. Don't loot. You guys don't really get any like souls for looting. Not useful doing that. Just get kills and get ghosts. Then you want to either leave the game or do the no expo glitch by heading over to the Koshi complex and then closing your app at the black screen. Once you load back up into the game, you will still have the soul weapon and you'll be able to do this glitch over and over and over. But if you leave, you'll still keep your souls, but you won't keep the weapon that you brought in with you. So there's that. That is that awesome method. Another awesome method is if you go into resurgence quads, you want to look at where the circle is and simply go to a place that's far away from the circle. The best places, you know, will be castle, will be floating district, and will be the graveyard. Those three will give you the absolute most amount of souls the fastest. Also, if you just go into the highly populated building areas, then you will get a ton of souls that way. Those are the only places I recommend you guys to fly to if the circle is not close to that place. Now, once you guys get your max souls, just like you did with the lockdown way, you want to simply leave the game or just press start after going down and then click play again. Either way is fine. You will keep your souls and you'll be able to go into the next game and rinse and repeat to get that ghoulie camo. And this one is the one that I use to get my ghoulie camo. I did not use the zombie method. The zombie method is chalked just because everybody knows about it and you're going to waste your time since you might not beat the other guy that's trying to get the souls before you. And it's just not good. Do not do the zombie method at all. Do either the DMZ way, the lockdown way, or the resurgence way. And that is it. I went through, showed you guys a instant unlock camo for the ghoulie camo, showed you guys so many glitches in this video for the ghoulie camo. Do these now, get your ghoulie camo, and have fun with the camo since it's a really, really cool looking camo. But anyways, that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. And don't forget to check out my new song. I did just release a brand new song. It's awesome. I'm working on my next one and that's going to be out very soon and I can't wait till you guys hear it. But anyways, the link to my new song is in the pinned comment down below. Thank you for your support on my music and thank you for your support on my videos. MW3 is coming out in a few days and I will literally have the craziest glitches here. Camel glitches, instant unlock, unlock alls. This year is going to be, it's going to be awesome. I'm super excited. We have zombie stuff. I'm going to have a camel slash XP glitch on day one for zombies. I'm going to have MP unlock alls, so many glitches, calling card glitches, everything. Blueprint is going to be insane. Also, we'll have campaign glitches when that comes out in two days. So, you know, stay tuned. Subscribe for that and check out the music down below in the pinned comment. And if you did watch until the very, very end, thank you and comment down below, hashtag ghoulie silent. And I will reply to you calling you a legend.